Now, Khloe Kardashian recently made it known on social media that she forgives Jordan Woods after her and Tristan Thompson's cheating scandal. It reminded us here at Holly Scoop, though, of a time when things were not so civil. And by that, I mean all the times Khloe would publicly troll Jordan on social media. Whether the shade was subtle or Khloe was calling Jordan a liar, we're breaking down all the times Khloe bashed Jordan Woods right now, so stay right here to remember the shade. <laughs> How's it going guys? I'm Madison Hill. I know you're here for a rundown of all the times Chloe shaded Jordan Woods on social media, but first please give this video a share, double check you're subscribed, and don't forget that notification bell. Our first stop on the memory lane of times Chloe shaded Jordan is right after news of the scandal broke and Jordan announced that she would be appearing on Red Table Talk to discuss her side of the story. At that time, Chloe amped up her not so cryptic quotes with the first one that says, Remember, they cheated because they wanted to. They lied because they could, and now they're sorry because they got caught. It's always about them. You did nothing to cause or deserve it. While some would categorize that as subtle shade, given the fact the news of Tristan and Jordan's cheating was still fresh, I think it's anything but that. Moving on to the next shots Chloe fired, her response to Jordan's Red Table Talk interview. After Jordan's interview aired and she told her side of the story, which included that her legs were draped over Tristan, that he kissed her goodbye, and that while she did wait to come clean, she eventually did and apologized. However, Chloe was not happy at all and she took to Twitter to unleash saying, why are you lying, Jordan? If you're going to try and save yourself by going public instead of calling me privately to apologize first, at least be honest about your story. BTW, you are the reason my family broke up. Followed by, Tristan is equally to blame, but Tristan is the father of my child. Regardless of what he does to me, I won't do that to my daughter. He has been addressing the situation privately. If Tristan were to lie publicly about what conspired, then yes, I would address him publicly as well. Obviously, after this massive amount of shade and hate, Twitter turned on Chloe because, hello, Tristan cheated before Jordan, so let's be honest, she didn't break up that family, and two, when Tristan did address it publicly, he lied and said fake news. Weeks after Jordan shared her side of the story, it was the Car Jenner's turn to share theirs, and they did so in the trailer for their upcoming season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. We got to see all the drama unfold in an explosive two-part finale of Keeping Up. Yes, that's when we got Chloe's now iconic liar scream. Liar! It was evident Chloe still carried major resentment for Jordan up until the time she posted this not so cryptic shady Instagram story ahead of the finale that read, Sometimes people victimize themselves so they don't feel guilty for the things they do to you. And damn. Damn is right, Chloe. That's what we were all thinking when we saw you once again bash Jordan Woods online and in that finale. And while we thought the social media shade would stop after the Car Jenners told their side, we were sorely mistaken as Chloe once again made a dig at Jordan's expense by replying to a comment on Instagram a few months after the scandal. Chloe had posted a photo of her and Malika because, as you know, Malika stood by her through it all. Someone commented and said, the only friendship we trust which Chloe responded saying, same. AKA a little dig at Jordan and Kylie, no longer being the card in a friendship that everyone stand. The next time Chloe threw shade Jordan's way was five months after the drama went down and just when people were trying to move on. I'm talking about when she posted this meme about other women reminding us all that she's been cheated on. The meme reads, some girl asked my man, is she your girlfriend, girlfriend, or just a girl you're talking to? Bitch, if I kill you, are you dead, dead, or just not breathing? Are you cringing yet? Same, but we still have a few more of Chloe's Jordan Woods inspired posts to discuss. For example, at the end of last year when Chloe made her first attempt at letting the world know she forgives both Tristan and Jordan for their indiscretion. Chloe posted a lengthy statement saying that she doesn't have any negative or hateful feelings towards anyone, and that while yes, she's allowed to feel hurt and pain, she doesn't want to carry around a hateful heart. She made it clear she wants peace and blessings for all, and that she's working on herself inside out. After the new year, Chloe said she wanted happiness. Chloe followed that Instagram story up with one more message, this time explicitly saying that her message of forgiveness and peace is for Jordan. She actually said it was a message for anyone who played a role in her pain. She ended the message saying, we're all human and make mistakes, myself included. Hate is heavy and I am tired of carrying around all of that weight. After those posts, Jordan Woods came in, flipped the script, and took a page out of Chloe's book with a little shade herself. She reposted this quote that reads, someone somewhere is still discussing the old you because they don't have access to the new you. She captioned this, facts 100. Of course, once everyone saw this, they felt this was Jordan's response to Chloe's apology, which she later cleared up on Twitter. Jordan tweeted, not every quote that is posted is a sub or clapback, and not everything posted is directed toward one person in general. I deal with a lot of different shit daily. It's all love, only positive vibration. 
situations. While we thought that would for sure put the kibosh on things for 2019, that did not happen and it's in large part thanks to Red Table Talk revealing that Jordan Woods took a lie detector test to prove she did not hook up with Tristan Thompson. Now the test did show Jordan was telling the truth when she said they did not have a boudoir moment. However, that didn't stop Chloe from continuing to post quotes about liars, which many felt were still directed at Jordan. Therefore, when Jordan was out doing press for her new venture shortly after that Red Table Talk lie detector test aired, she posted this about an apple a day keeping the haters away. You can see why everyone lost their minds thinking once again she was beating Chloe at her own game. However, Jordan later took to her Instagram story to tell everyone to stop reaching and that if she truly had something to say to someone, she would say it. And if I have something to say about someone or to someone, I'm gonna say it to them or not at all. If y'all are tired of this, I'm exhausted. Jordan made it known that it's nothing but love and peace, and I've gotta say she's kept the same energy despite her name still being connected to the Car Jenners, thanks to Chloe seemingly forgiving and getting back with Tristan again. We have this theory because recently Chloe let it slip that her and Tristan watched the season 18 premiere of Keeping Up Together. Once again, people criticized her for not having the same energy towards Jordan when Tristan technically kissed her without consent allegedly. And instead of Chloe just once again saying she forgives Jordan and leaving it at that, she had to throw a little shade her way for what I imagine will not be the last time. Chloe wrote, We have forgiven both parties, and the non-consent thing is hearsay. The entire story is hearsay. But I'll let you guys run with whatever you want to run with. If you are a true fan, then you would have followed my Insta stories. She continued saying, Where I have repeatedly stated I have forgiven both parties and I want both parties to be in peace. And this is for everyone's mental well-being. Personally, I feel like Chloe did not need to say the matter of consent is hearsay as well as the entire story because clearly that's not true. But, you know, I don't think she will ever truly be able to post anything on social about Jordan without bashing her just a little. But that's just my opinion and now I want to hear yours. What do you think of all the times Chloe tried to shade Jordan Woods on social media? Do you think these days are over or do you think there's still more ahead? Let it out down below. For more on this saga, check out our channel. After that, click that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell.